What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we are going to review Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 12, entitled Say Yes. And as always, we have our own little rating system. Jesse, what the hell is it? So, we're going to rate it uh, 0 through 5 using walkers instead of, you know, stars or anything like that. And the categories are story rating, visuals, character slash acting, uh, music and or sound, and then our overall. Yep. So, so that's our overall right. is an average. <laughs> that's right. So, without further ado, Mike, take us away, man. What'd you get? What'd you give this episode? <sighs> <laughs> well, for my story, um, I'm giving it a two. I haven't been excited about these last oh, few episodes. Bastard. I am a bastard. I put hold on, hold on. Did you not give the trash compactor kids no, a, two a two also? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, All right. Come on. It's <laughs> your rating. Okay. <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, it's, 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 I wrote down, um, I understand where they were going with this. And obviously we all know that they need guns and whatsoever. I, like, I understand where they were going. It's just so fucking drawn out. All right. Visuals. I'm going right. I'm banging this now. Visuals. Two. Ooh. All right. I think that the, the deer that we the deer. the deer sucked miserably. Um, but I think the the soldier in the that st- was stuck in the windshield, that whole th- yeah. scene with work was kind of cool. So that kind of boosts me up a little bit. Um, for characters, I'm going with a three. Um, even though I couldn't stand Rosita really in this episode, I really haven't been able to take her, much of her lately with her bitchy, bratty, you know, whoa, whoa, was me she shit. All, uh, someone like Rosita. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I did like the conversation between um, Rick and Michonne um, when they were leaving the carnival after Michonne thought Rick was dead, and and they had the conversation in the van about if I if I die we're gonna lose people and this kind of yeah. thing. I kind of thought that was um, it made up a little bit for it, so that's why I'm giving it a three as far as the characters and, and they're great they're great actors though, those two. So come on, and even Gabriel. Um, I'll give him a little shout out because his scene with Rosita was, um, you know, the, and I think we all kind of agreed. Yeah, we all agreed on that was was good. Um, the music, you know, I I'm, I'll give it a three. I did like there was the 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 clip of music when we saw Rosita uh, Rosita when we saw Michonne and Rick searching that the the uh, what was it? Yeah. yeah, no, no. Before that, they were searching like a house or something oh, like house, that. Yeah. And there was like some cool music when we were joking about the China and the cabinet and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. It was kind yeah, of like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a Mission Impossible kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I did like the music when they were in the carnival slashing and they both were doing their thing and Michonne was yeah. slashing with a sword and, and Rick was, was, you know, hitting them with the axe and stuff. It was a similar kind of sat to music, too. I wrote down, um, if you guys remember, you remember um, when the horde breaks into Alexandria, and we saw the the, the screenshot of every character doing their oh, slicing, yeah. and how, yeah. and they had like that cool music to it, and it was it re- was reminiscent to me of that. So um, I thought that was you know interesting. I mean, overall, it's a two point five. It's nothing spectacular. I've been really disappointed these last few. Now um, there was a couple moments just like last week that were, you know, not, you know, that kind of made up for some things, but I'm just so, I'm just getting really aggravated with the show. And, um, it seems with the clip, uh, you know, that the upcoming clip for next week, that maybe we'll start seeing a little bit more, um, overall, you know, coming together of the story and what, yeah. what's, you know, what we're planning. So that's, that's what I got. So a two, 2.5, uh, walk 2.5 ish. Okay. All right. 2.5. Uh, my turn. What I, um, so for the story, I gave it a three. Um, there was some dumb stuff, but I thought we got some good scenes, you mm. know? Um, Absolutely. And, I, and I'm not going to go into the detail on those, but yeah, there were some good scenes. There was some dumb shit, but you know, there's some good scenes. The story overall was, you know, if you go in story wise, okay. Uh, visuals, yeah. I gave it a three because I, I enjoyed the Walker stuff. You know, there's some really, there's some different, what I, what I always look for is different Walker makeup. And I called, there was, at one point towards the end, there was the two after Michonne drops the sword. And there was the two, I called them the Bopsy twins because they kind of looked alike. 
Um, yeah. You know, we got a lot of uh, the 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 deer was shitty. That was some shitty CGI. It seems like every episode oh, yeah. we're getting at least one or two shitty CGI shots. Um, but the yeah. fatty the fatty McGee Walker. Yeah. All right. <laughs> She was fucking awesome. Like it was the gross Rosita and one. Yeah, fun. I didn't even mention that. I didn't even mention that. It was that, fun actually. and gross. Like you saw the blood that and then the goo. Cool. Like oh yeah. god. When Good. she first the, made the slice, the ripping yeah. of the body, the, the the foot. Jesse, you mentioned that you know it's getting predictable, but it's still fun. Yeah. I still love when they rip body because he's just like fuck, and then he pulls. Like it's just I just like it. I like it to see how they can do it. So three, mm-hmm. uh, the characters and the acting. Um, I gave it a three because. I liked most of the interactions between Rick and Michonne. Most of them. Some were a little cringeworthy, but um, Rosita was a convincing asshole, as usual. As usual. Oh yeah, uh, that's just her character anymore. Right. Fucking Brad. But that's yeah, my she's point. Brad. She was good. Like you know, um, Christian yeah. Serrato played played it well. You know, if that's what that's what it is. That's what it is. Just because you hate the character doesn't mean it wasn't played well. Gabriel, um, good good stuff there. You know, he's he's getting good with these little monologues. Uh, Tara. You know, Tara played indecisive pretty well. I think she's got the perfect face for it. And but I gotta give the the MVP goes to fucking Judith. Just not only can she shit in public, but just the the what the, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch face? The expressions, amazing. yeah. She has uh, a lot of the just just like her dad. You know, Rick does a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. You know? So that was pretty well, cool. Maybe um, not her dad. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, it's true. <laughs> um, it better be his fucking child. I know. But uh, so and then music, I gave I also gave a three because um, I'm going to jump on Mike's train and be like, you know what? Everything he said about that, um, I, I, you know, when I notice the music and it going along with the scene is, is pretty cool. So, yeah, so that's it. So my overall is a solid three. Jess. All right. Uh, so my story rating a little bit higher than Mike's three. Uh, didn't care for, you know, the slow pace of it, but it, it, it was good overall. Save for a few parts for Azita. Uh, <laughs> the visuals, the deer was god awful. Yeah, it, like shit, but, it was, man. But like Chris said, the makeup of the walkers, the overall ambiance of everything from the candles on the table and all that, it, it melded pretty good together. So 3.5. Um, characters, <sighs> Rosita. Uh, not not my favorite. She's gone from a great character downhill very fast. She but definitely did. I agree with I, that. They had to do that, I think, because Gabriel has stepped up so well. Yeah. So I gave the characters a four. Four? Just for the interactions between Rick and Michonne and Gabriel's monologue. The rest of it I didn't care about. Uh, the sound slash music. Three. There was really good music there. Uh, the sound was good. And I noticed something when he was dinging on the rails. You can hear a tinny sound like you would when you're dinging on something. And that's good audio production. So, yeah. Uh, overall, it gets a three. Not the best episode. Not the worst episode. Definitely better than the freaking Trash Compactor Kids. <laughs> and I believe that puts us at a three overall. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll give us a, that'll give us a, a, a three. We'll round up a little less than that, but we'll round it up to a three. Like 2.8. 2.8, exactly. <laughs> so, all right. Well, there you go, guys. We give this one a solid three. Better than – what What would you give the last one? The last one was also a three. I think it was a three. I think three, the last yeah. one was a three, too. But, I, but um, it was I mean, a 2. And, 5. and the Eugene episode wasn't that bad either. You know, it wasn't that bad. Um, a little slow. They're slow. We'll talk about all that stuff in the discussion. So, uh, overall three. So, again, we're, we're hitting – They, you know, we lost the stride. It's going big time. It, it, we went down. We now we're up a little yeah. bit. So, well, I mean, we'll we'll see. The next episode does look does look more promising. So we'll see about yeah. that, uh, guys. As we're heading out here, I just wanted to ask you guys. I have a request for you guys. I want to know what you guys and I asked this on the on the live reaction video as well. But I want to know what you guys think about us splitting up these the review discussion and live reaction into three different videos. Uh, we're trying yeah. to take stock and see if this is something that we're going to keep doing going forward um, or going back. I mean, I think we all enjoy doing it this way. We get to yeah. compartmentalize and get our thoughts for very specific things and make the videos a little shorter. So uh, please let us know about that in the comments. I want to thank everyone for commenting and, and, and giving us their ratings and their reviews on it and stuff too. Uh, don't forget, 
If you want to uh, go, go get yourself some comics for a really awesome deal, uh, go to comicblitz.com. Use the promo code Third Person Pod. Get yourself um, a shit ton of comics for three dollars for the first three months. It's a dollar a month for your first three months. So for three bucks, you're gonna get a shit ton of comics. Uh, you're talking get, a, a so shit how many? A ton of shit. <laughs> it's a how ton many is that exactly? Shit ton. A shit ton. You guys seen Back to the Future? We're talking That's metrics here. We're we talking right? imperial. <laughs> Um, I think that's going to do it for us, guys. Don't forget, yep. check us out on iTunes. If you're hearing us on iTunes, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to see what we look like, go on to YouTube and check us out. YouTube at Third Person Pod and on all our socials at Third Person Pod. Throw us some lines over there or something. Okay? Anyway, right, that's then, it, guys. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Peace.